it's a lovely day. Um, it's the 6th of Jan. I'm back in Japan again, and this is a view of Omura Bay um, and Omura from the Sky Park. And I'm gonna walk down the 999 stairs while I talk, so if, if it comes a bit bumpy, I'm sorry. Uh, but I can't swap the camera around, so maybe I'll stop halfway. Uh, so it's been a while since I made something, um, and that was really down to becoming very busy. Um, but truly, the, the real reason was because I started to think that making videos about my life is incredibly self censored and not as narcissistic and just horrible. Like, what's the point? Um, even when people ask, oh, so what's happening? You know, why haven't you shown us anything in a while? I kind of just feel, I feel a little bit self-censored to do. Um, so I've re-evaluated it a little bit over my holiday and I had a comment which I thought was very fair. Um, yeah, sure, maybe you're talking about your life, but um, for some people close to me, that's the only way they get to see Japan, um, potentially ever, or at least for a very long time. So maybe, <laughs> maybe stop worrying so much about it uh, so I wanted to share a little bit about what's happened this last this last uh, week or two and then just what's coming up um, it is the 6th of Jan so we're in 2018 again sorry I'm cutting my head off uh, so I went back home to South Africa for a week nine days of travel two days like a day each in and out because about 24 hours to get from here to there and back again so seven days and it was it's probably one of the most satisfying holidays I've had ever in my entire life. Um, I actually cried a little bit in the car because I was so happy because everyone's doing fantastically well. Um, both my siblings have new kids, all of them still boys and they're all great and everyone's healthy and my parents are fine, like it's just, there's just no issues really. Um, and I've been getting into finances again. Uh, I'll talk about it a bit later, but it sounds like the country might even be doing a bit better soon, so that's really good too. Um, and I also did something else. I read a book that I bought a year, no, six months ago. I bought a book called The Book of Joy by, um, it's a book co-written by Archbishop Desmond Tutu, the Dalai Lama, and then a guy called Douglas Abrams, I think, who has done a lot of work with Archbishop Desmond Tutu. The Book of Joy is really about tackling joy um, in modern times, which unfortunately is whenever you're alive, because it's always modern compared to the past, I suppose. Um, but I really enjoyed it, I honestly did. I didn't read it um, when I bought it originally because I liked the idea, but I kind of lost interest because I came to Japan and I got really busy. Um, the, but the book's got some really good points and some, some lovely messages and some ideas that I thought were very easy to copy out. So one for instance being that we all have a general state of happiness anyway. Right? So we are a, a level of happy throughout our lives. And that doesn't really change too much based on our circumstances unless you go into a depression or your life changes constantly and even then you might probably get used to it. Um, but the fundamental thing, and I, I think we all see it, even if your circumstances become better or worse, um, on an average day, you are your average self. Um, another thing was about where, kind of where happiness lies. So, or well, sorry, not happiness, joy. And the, the, the difference being that joy is a little bit more of a stable, um, ongoing, whereas happiness comes and goes. Um, and this one I really like. The, the point being that, uh, we, we get a lot of our happiness and joy out of our interaction with other people and the value we can bring to their lives um, and the value they bring to ours. So even if you are in a difficult time, you know, there could be some, some joy, some goodness in it for you because of the interaction you have with other people. Um, and obviously then your perspective on things and a lot of other stuff. It was a really good book. I really liked it. Um, so that's kind of reframed a few things for me. So the big question right now is, do we want to recontract for another year? Um, it's the start of 2018, but we're only about five and a half months into our first year as ALTs. So it's, it's a little bit silly. <laughs> I understand the reason, the timing for the process and so forth, but obviously it feels a bit funny to have to recontract, yes or no, and you're not almost quite, almost halfway into the first year only. Um, so I've decided I will. And... 
I was battling with what I will do after jet a lot last year for the last let's say the last two months especially really just thinking hard what I want to do after jet what I want to do after that uh, let's just stop for a second this is the 99 staircase we're going down so um, it's really nice I hope I'm not bouncing too much um, so what I want to do after jet and there's there's a few ideas um, I still have a, a great love for the previous company I used to work in and especially the people um, although it, in essence I don't I don't believe so much in consumerism and making people buy more stuff um, so that's a, that's a tiny conflict Japan is lovely so maybe staying here but then you need better Japanese and mine is still fairly poor because uh, South Africa nothing teach English somewhere else I don't know so I struggled with it a lot and then when I got back to South Africa um, within the first 30 minutes sitting in the car going back from the airport I kind of had this um, uh, <laughs> I had this answer kind of given to me um, it's just it was it sounded so simple coming from my mom uh, and, sh and she said you know things kind of ripen in their time and if you're having a good time now and and it's going well and you're getting what you think you need from it then you shouldn't be worrying too much about the next the next step because you're too far away from it and by then you know things could have changed again so try not to miss what you're doing now just because you're worrying about the next part which also then led into well if you really like it maybe do two because two years sounds like a good idea uh, I have a friend here from Singapore who said a very similar thing actually to me a while back so we're gonna have some that's gonna again soon um, oh and then along the way there's these little places where you can stop so I'm gonna stop for a second anyway so I'm recontracting a lot of people aren't and they've got good reasons for it um, some love Japan but their placement is not nice and unfortunately the program isn't very flexible you can't move very easily um, be it location or schools join or anything like that um, some people have to go look after their families so they have to go back uh, either because medically the family might need them there um, financially the family might need them to take a stronger job yeah, whichever I mean there's so many different reasons um, there's quite a few people who want to continue studies obviously because the general intake in jet is is fresh graduates or somewhere around there so early 20s um, so yeah we'll see another turnover here in Nomura we've also got one unicorn so someone who's been here and is now in their fifth year so they can't recontract um, Anyway, so the, retrack, the recontract's gonna happen, for me anyway, and I look forward to it a lot. I think there's there's a lot I can do in the country still that I would enjoy. Um, and relieving myself of the stress of thinking about what's coming after this, I think um, I'm also ha happier. <laughs> just just not thinking too much about everything that, that I don't have to make a decision on right now. Um, so something else that's come up in the holiday, and I think I'll flill around with it and we'll see how it goes. Uh, the cryptocurrency stuff is, is very popular right now and I bought some just on a whim in August last year just after we got to at the end of August after we got to Japan um, and then you know the November December there was a massive spike in, in value and you know there's so much news and stuff about it um, anyway so I sold some and I kept the rest and I've just kind of started to learn more and more about it because it's quite fun and it's interesting um, and it was ridiculously easy it was like I didn't put a lot of money into it but it's I mean it's such it was such easy money for people who are lucky to get it or if maybe if you're doing like really heavy trading or something um, but it sparked my, my interest in, in investing and in finance again so I spent a lot of my holiday in South Africa free time just listening to podcasts and re-educating myself about general investing the South African situation um, retirement annuities and you know, just like a bunch of stuff uh, we had a big company collapse in South Africa because uh, this the share price collapsed because of um, some news that got out about some potentially fraudulent um, actions that they took in their financial statements and financials in the past uh, and then the CEO dropped off and the chairman of the board dropped off as well. Um, so now I bought some of that. <laughs> I'm curious to see, well, not a lot of money, but I'm curious to see what might happen with that. Um, 
anyway so that's that's one thing i think i might pick up as an extra hobby on the side um and we'll see i don't know how japan works with these kinds of things so i can enjoy learning about that here as well um because of the recontracting which is which is such a you know it's a decision for july august only it's made me think a bit about what i want to do this year as well um, and although i'm not really a new year's resolution kind of person uh, there's a few trends that that have come along in my life from last year that I'd love to continue uh, The first one is a little bit like today So I spend way too much time in my house um, Not that I spend all my time there, but there's a lot of downtime where I'm just pointlessly sitting around Not it's just there's not happily sitting around just kind of loitering and not sure what to do with my time so Getting out a bit more, I think it's going to be a thing for me. I really want to start hiking a bit and so forth. I was wondering if I can travel in Jan and Feb, but I thought it would be freezing. Now it's the 6th of Jan, I'm back, and it's like it's 8 degrees right now. It's actually fine. Um, and the sun's out, which is lovely. So getting outside is the first thing I'm, I'm hoping to do a bit more of today. Ah, today, this year. Um, Okinawa, I'm really keen to go. Mount Aso, I'm really keen to go. There's another mount... Hino in the north of Kyushu I'm not sure but anyway I want to I want to travel a little bit more around um, the second one is reading so that book was lovely and I haven't read a lot in a long time so I'm gonna try a bit more of that um, especially Murakami because I only had one of his books so far it was a gift before I left South Africa to Singapore and it was amazing I really liked it so I'll read some of that and then Maybe some the, the intelligent investor. Um, I'm sure I'll have I'll have a blast reading that. Probably just to find out that I'm not, but it's it's probably good. Um, and the third one was wow, what was it? Um, reading. Uh, obviously, wasn't very important because now I can't remember. Okay, moving along, uh, there's something else that, that came up as a trend. So, okay, so these things kind of linked in. So, it's not staying at home too much. Um, eating healthy and exercise kind of comes together already. Hiking is obviously a little bit exercise. Trying to reduce the waste in my life. I have a friend in South Africa who's doing that heavily, and it's. The Shimaiska sound like possible, and obviously it is, but wow, I think that's difficult. Um, I went shopping yesterday and I didn't take the little plastic bags for like my carrots and my tomatoes and stuff and I felt like a rock star, like amazing. I have reduced my waste by three tiny packets. <laughs> um, but I suppose that's kind of what it's about, right? You make a little decision and you try and make another little decision, you try and make a lot of little decisions. I mean a lot of things in life come down to persistence and maintenance of a principle or belief you have or something that you feel is good. You know, a lot of, not a lot of things come with just one quick decision. Um, so that that would be good too um and that ties in with the saving goal i have so i want to save what did i decide one million one million yen it's not like mountains of money but in a in a year that's very possible so i'll try to do that or not i don't know i want to travel so it's going to be it's going to be difficult um so about the videos and the blog and so forth the blog originally was a way for me to enjoy and re-enjoy traveling because my lifestyle didn't allow me to do oh no actually my lifestyle allowed me a lot of opportunity um it just also contained a lot of stress and so forth and i do miss the mental acrobatics and thinking creativity of the corporate lifestyle i'll admit that that's also why this finance thing is now starting to track my attention because it gets me to be able to just think and overthink something from a um, what feels slightly more intellectual perspective, I suppose. Um, but, wow, I've lost my train of thought completely. Oh, so the so the blog, I, I wrote one now. I don't know, I'll, I'll write a bit more. The videos, um, looking back, I feel like they're mostly about me. And even now, I've come halfway down the 999 steps. I'm just talking about myself, really. Um... I'm gonna try and make it a little bit just more about Japan, I suppose, um, and the general life. But intrinsically, I think you can't really get away from it because it will be my perspective and my experience of Japan, and quite likely I will talk me, me, I, 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 which is not something I like. And then whenever I write something, 
that contains a lot of me, 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 I, 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 I kind of worried, like, you know, what's, what is the message here, really? Um, but I'll try not to let the, the cynicism get the better of me, um, in the hope that it brings some value to other people. Uh, or I'll just, like, upload it and never let it publish and just enjoy making them myself, because it is kind of fun to share your thoughts and your feelings and everything else. Uh, so that's really it. There's not much else to it right now. Um, this year's going to be good, I hope. We'll have to see how everything pans out with the waste and the exercise and the hiking and the uh, Japanese. Oh, the Japanese learning. That was the third one, literature. <laughs> Getting Japanese. Um, N4 is also be out by the end of J January, so we'll hear if we got through that or not. Um, that's also the furthest I got my notes from Singapore still. So at this point, I have to move on to a new book or another way of study because I don't have the materials anymore we'll see um, and sorry I haven't shaved so you have to like stare at this double chin situation the whole time um, if I can suggest something no if I can leave a thought um, and kind of like a hope for myself I hope I can help other people because it makes me happy this is pretty um, but yeah I, that sounded sarcastic I hope I can bring some value to other people's lives because it really does make me happy um, equally obviously it's lovely when other people want to add value to your life but um, trying not to shy away from social interactions that you don't enjoy or that make you feel uncomfortable um, opening up and kind of just being vulnerable to the world but because you're authentic to yourself not because you are just you know, being reckless with your um, with your feelings um, and that's it really so that's about 17 minutes I hope that was worth watching <laughs> happy 2018 hey say 30 here of the dog I think Chinese New Year's only in Feb right or something like that um, We'll see. Maybe we'll start with the, a few moments of again instead of the long ones. And I can just do a few minutes of interesting things. Um, those normally don't contain too much about me. Alright, bye-bye. Be safe. Love you.